In this podcast episode, Dr. Andrew Huberman engages in a deep conversation with Dr. Terry Sanowski, a prominent figure in computational neuroscience. Dr. Sanowski, a professor at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies, shares his insights on how neuroscience and artificial intelligence can enhance our understanding of learning and motivation. Dr. Sanowski emphasizes the growing intersection between neuroscience and AI, particularly in understanding how the brain processes information. He explains that while traditional neuroscience often focuses on the structural components of the brain, computational neuroscience seeks to understand the algorithms that govern brain function. This approach allows researchers to model how neurons communicate and how these interactions lead to complex behaviors. By applying mathematical models and AI techniques, scientists can gain insights into the underlying mechanisms of learning and motivation. The conversation highlights the importance of algorithms in both the brain and AI systems. Dr. Sanowski notes that algorithms serve as the recipes for how information is processed, whether in biological systems or artificial ones. This understanding can lead to breakthroughs in how we approach learning, as it allows us to identify the rules that govern our cognitive processes. By studying these algorithms, researchers can develop strategies to enhance learning and memory, making the knowledge more accessible to individuals of all backgrounds. A significant portion of the discussion revolves around the role of dopamine in motivation. Dr. Sainowski explains that dopamine is a neuromodulator that plays a crucial role in driving our motivation-related behaviors. He introduces a simple learning rule that governs motivation, the prediction of rewards based on actions. This rule suggests that our brains continuously update their expectations of rewards, which in turn influences our motivation to engage in specific behaviors. Dr. Sainowski elaborates on how this dopamine-driven learning process can be applied to various aspects of life, from personal goals to professional achievements. By understanding how dopamine influences our motivation, individuals can develop strategies to enhance their drive and overcome periods of low motivation. This insight is particularly valuable for those struggling with motivation-related challenges, as it provides a framework for understanding and improving their behaviors. The podcast delves into the science of learning, with Dr. Sejnowski sharing practical tools that can help individuals learn more effectively. He discusses the importance of understanding one's learning style and how different approaches can lead to better retention of information. Dr. Sinowski and his colleagues have developed a zero-cost online portal that offers resources tailored to various learning styles, making it easier for individuals to find strategies that work for them. One key takeaway from the discussion is the significance of active learning. Dr. Sejnowski emphasizes that simply passively consuming information is not enough. Individuals must engage with the material actively to reinforce their understanding. This can involve self-testing, summarizing information, or teaching concepts to others. By incorporating these active learning techniques, individuals can enhance their cognitive abilities and improve their overall learning outcomes. Dr. Sejnowski also highlights the positive impact of physical exercise on cognitive function. He shares his personal experience of using specific types of exercise to enhance his cognitive abilities, noting that regular physical activity can lead to improved memory, focus, and overall brain health. This connection between physical fitness and cognitive performance underscores the importance of maintaining a healthy lifestyle for optimal brain function. The discussion touches on the biological mechanisms behind this relationship, particularly the role of mitochondria in energy production. Dr. Sainowski explains that exercise promotes mitochondrial function which is essential for providing the energy needed for cognitive processes. By prioritizing physical activity, individuals can not only improve their physical health, but also support their cognitive development and learning capabilities. The conversation shifts to the differences between healthy and diseased brains, particularly in the context of neurodegenerative conditions like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Sainowski discusses how understanding the underlying mechanisms of these diseases can inform potential treatments and interventions. He emphasizes the importance of studying mitochondrial function 
and its relationship to brain health, as disruptions in mitochondrial activity can contribute to the progression of neurodegenerative diseases. Dr. Sejnowski also highlights the potential for using lifestyle interventions, such as diet and exercise, to mitigate the effects of these diseases. He references the work of researchers like Dr. Chris Palmer, who is exploring the role of metabolic health in treating conditions like schizophrenia. This approach emphasizes the interconnectedness of physical and mental health, suggesting that improving overall well-being can have a positive impact on cognitive function and disease progression. Sleep is another critical topic discussed in the podcast, with Dr. Sainowski explaining its vital role in learning and memory consolidation. He describes how different stages of sleep, particularly rapid eye movement, REM sleep, contribute to the processing and integration of information acquired during the day. During sleep, the brain engages in a form of replay, reinforcing connections and solidifying memories. Dr. Sainowski emphasizes the need for adequate sleep to support cognitive function and learning. He notes that sleep deprivation can lead to significant impairments in memory and attention, making it essential for individuals to prioritize their sleep hygiene. By understanding the relationship between sleep and learning, individuals can take proactive steps to improve their cognitive performance and overall well-being. The discussion also touches on the impact of technology on learning and cognition. Dr. Sejnowski acknowledges the benefits of digital tools and resources in facilitating learning, but cautions against the potential pitfalls of excessive screen time and distraction. He emphasizes the importance of finding a balance between leveraging technology for educational purposes and maintaining focus on the learning process. Dr. Sanowski encourages individuals to be mindful of their technology use, particularly in the context of social media and digital distractions. He suggests that while technology can enhance learning, it is crucial to engage in activities that promote deep thinking and reflection. By being intentional about technology use, individuals can harness its benefits while minimizing its negative effects on cognitive function. As the conversation progresses, Dr. Sanowski shares his excitement about the future of AI in neuroscience. He envisions a world where AI can assist researchers in uncovering new insights into brain function and behavior. By analyzing vast amounts of data, AI has the potential to identify patterns and relationships that may not be immediately apparent to human researchers. Dr. Sanowski believes that AI can serve as a valuable tool for hypothesis generation and experimental design. By leveraging AI's capabilities, researchers can explore new avenues of inquiry and develop innovative approaches to studying the brain. This collaboration between neuroscience and AI holds great promise for advancing our understanding of cognitive processes and improving educational outcomes. The podcast also delves into the philosophical questions surrounding consciousness and free will. Dr. Sejnowski acknowledges the complexity of these concepts and the challenges in defining them within a scientific framework. He notes that while neuroscience has made significant strides in understanding brain function, the nature of consciousness remains a profound mystery. Dr. Sejnowski discusses the implications of free will in the context of neuroscience, suggesting that our understanding of decision-making and behavior is influenced by both biological and environmental factors. He emphasizes the need for continued exploration of these topics as they have far-reaching implications for our understanding of human behavior and the nature of existence. The conversation highlights the importance of learning in shaping brain development throughout the lifespan. Dr. Sainowski explains that the brain is highly plastic, meaning it can adapt and change in response to experiences and learning opportunities. This plasticity is particularly pronounced during critical periods of development, such as childhood and adolescence. Dr. Sainowski emphasizes that engaging in learning activities can have a lasting impact on brain structure and function. By fostering a love of learning and providing opportunities for exploration, individuals can promote healthy brain development and enhance their cognitive abilities. This understanding underscores the importance of education and lifelong learning in supporting overall brain health. Social interaction is another key factor in the learning process as discussed by Dr. Sejnowski. 
He highlights the significance of collaborative learning and the benefits of engaging with others in educational settings. Social interactions can enhance motivation, provide diverse perspectives, and facilitate the exchange of ideas, all of which contribute to a richer learning experience. Dr. Sejnowski encourages individuals to seek out opportunities for social learning, whether through group projects, discussions, or collaborative problem solving. By leveraging the power of social interaction, learners can deepen their understanding of complex concepts and develop critical thinking skills. This collaborative approach to learning can lead to more meaningful and impactful educational experiences. As the podcast concludes, Dr. Sainowski reflects on the future of education and the potential for integrating neuroscience and AI into teaching practices. He envisions a world where educators can leverage insights from neuroscience to create more effective learning environments. By understanding how the brain learns, educators can develop strategies that cater to diverse learning styles and promote engagement. Dr. Sejnowski emphasizes the importance of fostering a growth mindset in learners, encouraging them to embrace challenges and view failures as opportunities for growth. By instilling a love of learning and resilience, educators can empower students to reach their full potential.